All right. Harry from California. Harry. We're no, no last name. No. Just Harry. You know Harry in California? No, but he's Scary Leavened Bread is his Instagram name. Okay. So. <laughs> Harry from California wants to know, what do you think the single most important discovery in the history of physics is and why? Ooh. Ooh, I got this. Okay. Now, physics or astrophysics? Are they I, two different th- things? It's, it's Astrophysics is a subset of physics, but we, right. we, we, we good. Okay. We good. Um, some years ago, I wrote an essay. It won an award from the American Institute of Physics, a writing prize award. Mm-hmm. And the title of the uh, essay was, In the Beginning. And you're in the chair mm-hmm. that I won, and it's, it's, it's stenciled on the back. Plus, I got $3,000. Which we'll is totally cool. That's three thousand dollars is always a good thing to get. Except I don't have the three thousand dollars anymore, but I do have the chair because you bought this <laughs> damn chair with it. <laughs> so here's uh, here's what I celebrated in that essay. In that essay, I celebrated the existence and the consequence of E equals M C squared on the arc of the universe. There is no understanding of matter and energy in the universe without that equation. Stars would not produce energy. The, 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 the would have been no Big Bang. The, everything we take for granted in this universe owes its foundation to e equals mc squared, the equivalence of matter and energy in the universe. E- for me, that was the greatest discovery because of how much it enabled us to understand. Combine that with quantum physics, had a lot of good folks working on it in the 1920s, a watershed decade in the history of human understanding of the universe. Quantum physics is a theory of the small, atoms, molecules, nuclei. Coming to understand how the universe works on its smallest scale made us badass. Not only could we have now, well, bad, Good and bad, bad. Take the word bad in both contexts. Right. Because that empowered us to end civilization as we know it. Right. The foundation of the nuclear arsenals. The atom bomb. Exactly. Exactly. Yet it gave us our deepest understanding of how the world works, and it is the foundation to the entire information technology revolution. There is no creation, storage, or retrieval of information in the IT universe without an understanding of the quantum now, you're saying IT because I'm Indian, and that's what my people <laughs> excel at. Well, it's your, your people. <laughs> my people, we excel at IT. Aren't you from Toronto? Uh, yeah, but I got to go back to India for my family. <laughs> <laughs> you got fam in India? I do. Oh, cool. cool. Tunzo. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, for me, equals MC squared. That's, I think, the most profound um, fact of the universe. There's some close seconds and thirds in that list, but I put equals MC squared at the top. So, and what's cool is we learned that in like third grade. That's your first equation, right? Well, I, I was never a good student. Oh, yeah. I became more curious as I became older. I wanted because I always questioned everything. Well, that's all. That's that. That's it. I know. You don't need anything else. I know. But in the seventies, in your sc- in school, they they didn't want you to question. They just want you to accept. Okay. Right, and I was right, like, right. nah, I got questions about this. Right. And they just bo- boiled me down to he's he's an idiot. What did they say? What are you, a comedian? <laughs> Essential. Well, one teacher told me I was going to be a janitor, so okay. I showed him. Right. Okay. Now he's going to say, oh, I did that to motivate him. I'm like, no, you didn't. Yeah, right. I saw, I saw the look in your eye and I heard the tone in your voice. Right, right, 